what is it that usually you look for for somebody that you want to work with or collaborate with on a, on a particular song? Is it just how your voices sound? Is it um, just other parts of the artistry that maybe other people might not be thinking about? Well, of course, that's, that's interesting that you bring that up. You know, voice is definitely important because you want to be able to collaborate and it sound good and the tones, you know, are just have a great mix together. And, you know, for me with Chance, I just love what he stood for. Mm. You know, he's just a positive, a positive guy, just, you know, into God, into family. And it's just some of the same things I'm into. And I just felt like it would be a great thing for us to collaborate. And he's very musical as well. I yeah, love for sure. Mm-hmm. What is it, what are the, some of the feelings you get? And if are they the same from when you first went into a recording studio? Do you still get the same either butterflies or the same feelings you got when you first went in in your teens to where, when you go in now? Of course. I mean, I don't think I would still be doing what I'm doing if I didn't get the butterflies. It's like when you don't get the butterflies or you don't get the nerves, I think it's time to stop. You yeah. know, I think that rep- represents, you know, humility and really wanting your your music to be right. And for me, with this with this new music, I did a lot of the writing, I did a lot of the producing and and so it's 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 brand new for me to be this involved in 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 my music. And so of course I'm a little bit more nervous than before because I have more of a more roles to play. Mm-hmm. And um it's it's been great, but it's it's definitely been nerve wracking because I want for it to be right. Yeah, and if it's not, it's gonna be all on me, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> what is uh what is like a brandy writing process like? Does Brandy have a notebook where she puts down some thoughts? Is it just like play me a beat and then I'll give you a beat? There it is. Got the notebook now. <laughs> oh, of course. My I, I carry my journal everywhere. And of course, this is where I write, you know, everything, my thoughts, my songs. And yes, it's you know, I, I love listening to music, the beats, and then you know, I get inspired from the from the melodies that come up in my my mind and my heart, and I and I write things that I've actually experienced, and um, mm-hmm. of course, other other people's perspective as well. You know, I have friends, and you know, I I definitely know what's going on with with people and how they you know how they experience certain things, and I want to write other things for other people as well. So my music is not just for me; it's for it's for everybody. I love that. What yeah. what are some of the things, uh, some of the themes, some of the other sounds that we can look forward to in, in an upcoming album? Well, with the upcoming album, I'm speaking a lot about love, a lot about love and love in a way where in, in some songs um, I'm expressing just how I feel in terms of just, I love this guy so much and I just want to be with, you know, this person for the rest of my life, that type of mm. thing. And then I'm I'm speaking about the person that I'm loving is not available, you know, and uh, that's, that's always tough when you love someone and they're not, they're not emotionally available for you or they're with someone else and you can't help the way you feel. So all sorts of different twists and turns when it comes to love. But um, I just love that I can go to music and express everything that I feel within Mm -hmm. the tones and the snares and, and all of that. It just feels great to have music as an outlet. I think the thing I love the most about R&B music is the majority of of what you get really does surface on love. And it's one of the things that we all crave. Every single human being craves either love from themselves, love from other people, love from family. But the the beauty of the arc of R&B is everyone's experience of love changes when they're younger to when they're in their 20s, to when they're in their 30s, to when they're in their 40s, and even and so on and so forth. And so if you can kind of share a little bit about the journey of love you've been on through the course of, of kind of giving it to your fans and, and letting them experience what you've experienced? Well, Love and I, <laughs> <laughs> we've been through a lots of, lots of ups, a lots of, lots of downs. But for me, um, I feel like self-love is the love that I've truly been searching for all of my life. Mm-hmm. And once I was able to, um, identify with that thought and really meditate on that, I really started to flourish just in my, in my emotions and in my feelings for myself. And when you really love yourself, you really can give so much love to everyone else. And um, I didn't, I didn't realize that growing up, you know, you, you hear that, but you don't, that doesn't really settle until you have experienced the things that I've experienced. And I'm sure that you've experienced, you know, we go through what we go through to get to that point. And self-love at the end of the day is really what we 
what we're looking for, what we strive for. We don't know it. We think it's in everybody else, but it's really within first. And then you share from that place. Mm-hmm. And that's what I've, I've realized. And I'm, and I'm living in that place now from self-love and then, you know, share it out with the world. Yeah. Would you say either discovery of love or understanding of love has changed how you approach your own singing? Like whether there is, because I, I think the thing that the people appreciate about singers is you can really tell and sense vulnerability from their actual physical voice. Have Absolutely. you noticed a change in your voice um, because of lived experience and because of love and, and how that has not only shaped your own life, but shaped your music? Of course. I mean, you you said it all right there. Honestly, I, my voice tells me exactly where I am in my feelings and my emotions. I It has its own mind. And mm-hmm. so I feel that um, when I listen to my voice, when I listen to the sound of my voice, and when I'm in touch with it, I can, I can do whatever I need to do to, to deliver that message of love, that message of, of, from my heart, you know, and, and vulnerability. Would you say that there have been a lot of times where you found it difficult to listen to that voice? That, you know, I think all of us, sometimes we know what's right, sometimes we know what's wrong, but it's difficult to pick one of the two depending on a situation we're at. Like, how many... T- do you find yourself struggling to to listen to that voice? Not not as much as I as as I used to. I'm I'm older now, so it's like when you when you when you settle in your in your life and your skin and in your purpose, you kind of have to listen to that voice. You don't have a lot of time not to, mm-hmm. you know. And when you've made so many different mistakes and you know you've come through so many different battles, you you try not to make the same mistake twice. You want to start making new mistakes. You know, you want that voice to tell you about some new stuff that you haven't, you know, come across. And for me, that's, uh, that's where I am right now. What would you say, talking about this purpose in life that we're each trying to kind of figure out and fulfill, what would you say that, that purpose is and in, in how much of it involves music? Because I think well, there's, there's a distinction between like sometimes who we are and what we do, but I feel like music, it's hard to take away music. music from who that is. Yeah, well music is is who I am. It's it's I don't know what I would do if if I didn't have music if music wasn't, you know, my, you know, something that I was able to to express myself through. Um but my purpose is um is being a vessel for, you know, that higher light that's shining through to inspire others and to you know, be a role model, to be an example of someone that that will never give up, someone that will continue to push forward and set an example the best way I can through my music, through the arts, through anything that, you know, I've been blessed with, you know, my gifts, I want to give that back. And um, I don't believe that if I, um, if I didn't, if I didn't commit to that purpose, I don't think I would be fulfilled as a person. Mm. And um, it's it's just very important for me to create in this in the in the gifts that God has given me. I think yeah. that is um, that's the best way to live my life. 